Hello and welcome back to RX Garage. My name is Kai and this is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. In today's video we're going to be having a look at my windshield wipers. How to replace the whole piece or how to replace the rubber insert from Toyota. Here we can see some aftermarket replacement blades. I'll show you how these can be installed. But I'll also show you how we can only replace the rubber piece. These are replacements from Toyota and they simply go back into the factory housing. I've decided to stick with this method, but I'll show you both in this video. To remove the windshield wiper, it's very simple. All we need is a flathead screwdriver. We can lift up the windshield wiper from the glass and then we go in here and we twist the, this piece uh, until it comes open. At this point we slide back the windshield wiper and then wiggle it free and it comes clear off of this piece. Simply slides off. As we can see here, windshield wiper has been well used and started to tear the rubber piece over here. So we, I'll show you now how we can replace this whole blade and then I'll show you how we can change out the rubber piece here with a new one and we'll be good to go. Here we have aftermarket windshield wiper. It's got a new blade on there, but the whole piece gets replaced. And this simply slides on and clicks in. And at that point, that is the windshield wiper replaced. And we can go over to the other side and do the same thing in exactly the same manner. However, a cheaper and more efficient way of changing out the windshield wipers is to simply replace the rubber piece that is broken. This way you get to maintain the, the factory windshield wiper, which is more perfectly designed for the car, and you get to have a brand new wiper blade. To do this, you simply find the end that has a big rubber piece stopping it. If we look at the other side, we can see that that piece can slide out. So we start from this side and we have to pull the whole rubber piece out this way. All it takes is a little bit of force and then once it goes, you can, there are two metal pieces on each side. So we'll make sure you hold those together and we can slide out the whole piece. Now we have the plastic piece remaining and now what we can do hold this and try and maintain the metal pieces. You can slide them off of the rubber piece, hold the orientation of the two metal rods and the whole rubber piece, old rubber piece will fall out. Now we can take the new rubber piece and insert the metal rods, one on each side, and slowly work our way down, sliding the metal pieces onto the wiper blade. Now we can see we have the metal pieces all the way in. We can find the open end that has the grooves that open up all the way to the end. And we can start sliding it in to the bracket. Now 
make sure that the pieces slide into the second groove not into the same groove as the metal pieces and we can go all the way down and then we're all the way in go back to the top we can see it's not fully in we can push it until we hear a click and there we go now it's fully seated back in the wiper blade and now we can reinstall this on the truck the same way we took it off. Now we can go ahead and reinstall the stock windshield wiper back onto the truck with the blade replaced. This is the aftermarket one. To remove it, simply pull it back and it comes right off. To reinstall the factory windshield wiper, Simply place it back in and push the wiper forward so the bracket slides in and the clip can close back down. Now, windshield wiper is like brand new. That's the end of our video for today. Replacing the rubber blade is maybe seven to ten dollars, or you can pay about twenty to thirty dollars per wiper blade getting an aftermarket one. Either way, I hope this showed you what you were looking for. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Get out there and explore, but don't forget to tread lightly. Cheers.